beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while this need. now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are gonna like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend these videos out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Lift up your voice and pray in one minute and say, Lord, whatever has held my life, whatever has held my destiny, please be serious tonight. Please. The word of the Lord. Go and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Lift your voice and pray. Go and tell Pharaoh. Go and tell poverty, let my people go. Go and tell delay and hardship. Go and tell yokes and spells that have held the destinies of men for generation. Announce to them. Go and tell them, let my people. I acknowledge they are my people. Pray. There is a reason why you are praying. Zubre te kaparatosh kalabrande geba se prahaseyada. Ledesh kaprande skaproto subre dige balatia. Let my people go. Let my people go. Sabros kabariande ko shalabai. Let my people go. Zabros kato rishabarianda kapras kalabadia. Libro zoso preti ge shabratis kalabaria takuria sambradishila. Exodus chapter 10, verse 7. 10 verse 7 we're reading down to 10 please hurry up media help us and pharaoh's servant said unto him how long shall this man be a snare unto you let the men go that they may do what this is the reason why they have to go there is a motif for liberty there is a motif for prosperity there is a motif for advancement he said let my people go that they may go and keep it there please and serve the lord their god then he says knowest thou not that egypt is destroyed read on next verse eight and moses said unto and moses and aaron were brought again to pharaoh and he said unto them go serve the lord your god but then he began to negotiate he said but who are they that shall go finally i have been persuaded but let's begin to talk who are those who will go verse 10 okay verse 9 leave it there and moses said we will go with our young come on our future and we will go with our old there must be restoration certain things that should have happened he says and with our sons and with our daughters and with our flocks 
and with our heart he said for we must hold a feast we are not going like fugitives we need to go triumphantly are we together now verse 10 and he said unto them let the lord be so with you as i will let you go and your little ones look to it he says for evil is before you when you read on he began to negotiate he said let's allow the men go but leave the women moses said no way everything is going listen when god saves he saves to the uttermost he will not bring health and leave finances are we together now many believers have an attitude of negotiating with darkness let me tell you something when you mount pressure on satan he will release something small and let you go and then we get carried away out of 10 people in your family only one person now has a breakthrough and you are still satisfied moses said no we are going with our old we are going with our young you release my job but my health is still there they must all go it's the same command that affects everything are we together i came here angry tonight in my spirit oh. it's not as if some of us have not received breakthrough but the devil has deceived us with miracles so that you can no longer turn back and see that there are other things that have refused to move so he gave you a job and little did you know that the child has not come and time is running if god gave you a job can't he give you a child tonight is a night of dogged insistence everything if you release one every other thing must follow you can't release my brother's salvation and keep my father's own this night everything must go are you hearing what i'm saying please pay attention he says let my people go i don't just need them to serve me but a feast before me a feast is a sign of victory in ancient times when they won war they would gather the women and the young children and the victorious men would come with the head of the king or drag him together and they would sing blowing the shofar it's called triumph it was an and then all the spoils that they had gotten from the land they would bring it and as they began to dance the bible says in the multitude in the midst of multitude is the king's honor so they will gather slaves that came from that nation and they will come and like bow down to the king to show that we are yours now he said let my people go you can never truly serve the lord until you are released to go i want the people to serve me but as it is there are situations in their lives that cannot allow them serve me are we together yeah so they say you have a medical condition you can't pray for 15 minutes you lift your voice something hooks you that's a pharaoh holding you you can't pray there's nothing you can do I've said it again you see people go to pray and the moment they they stand to pray the next thing they stop praying and they are moving around because of worry because of worry they cannot pray financial worries health worries are we together now we prayed for a woman in lagos during a program who had been pregnant for two years how many years two years every sign of pregnancy but the machine shows that she's perfectly fine her stomach is flat according to the machine is that a medical condition no sir life is spiritual remember spiritual intelligence life is what this pharaoh we are talking about is not just a man pharaoh is a spirit he uses men just like jezebel pharaoh is not a man the man pharaoh died the spirit pharaoh is still alive and there are many people under the bondage of pharaoh but not tonight not tonight the mighty god of israel will arise with an outstretched arm i i told you what the lord told me here while i was praying he said trust me and watch your situation turn around it doesn't take time it only takes faith when you trust god he will prove himself in a way that will surprise you 
tell my people please sit down as always you have a role to play everyone listen to me the role you have to play is your commitment to serving God listen 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 deliverance is not for you to leave Egypt and live your life your own way at your own times no sir he said let my people go that they may go and serve me listen write this down service is the greatest way to provoke judgment over darkness service thank God for prayer thank God for fasting next week we are going to start another powerful I will be sharing with you a very deep kingdom mystery next week service is the greatest way to provoke judgment the moment there was a willingness in the heart of the nation of Israel to serve God listen God will not step in and break poverty in your life just because you are an adult it's too small a reason to see the hand of God this is where many Christians authorize Satan to destroy their lives are we together now come you are in bondage and you want liberty this is your place of destiny this is where you are Egypt and the Lord is saying there is a condition there is a state of heart you don't have the power to deliver yourself but you have the will to say Lord I am committed to serving you but poverty is stopping me from buying books I want to buy the books are we together I can't pray because the rent is expired the landlord is not a spirit he's alive he's a real person he's coming tomorrow and God says you mean you want me to clear the way for you to serve me God says that's the kind of prayer that I like I say now the challenge with many believers hear me and this is where we strengthen Satan listen carefully tonight our unwillingness to live for God and to serve him are we together versus his outstretched hand and his power to deliver us God wants to deliver us but the justification the basis upon which his hand will come upon us many of us disqualify ourselves because our motive for deliverance is not genuine there is only one motive one let my people go that they may do what go and serve me serve me they may go and serve me this has nothing to do with being a man of god please listen this has nothing to do with being a pastor this has nothing to do with being a pastor's wife serving god is the lifetime assignment of everyone what you call your job or any avenue is just a doorway let me tell you brothers and sisters he says i shall not die but why will i live but live and declare live and proclaim the justification for being alive and being victorious is a heart and a life that is committed to promoting the kingdom you are representing him and advancing the frontiers of his kingdom there is no devil strong enough to take your life it says many are the afflictions of the righteous the bible says but the lord delivered him from them how many affliction is not unusual are we together jesus himself said let us go to the other side and he met a storm meeting a storm is not a sign that you that um you are not a christian jesus met a storm on the all-knowing god said let's go to the other side between prophecy and manifestation he met a storm so meeting a storm in your life is not the issue the storm overcoming you and making rubbish and nonsense out of your life is where your victory becomes questionable there are many of us here right now with all kinds of storms standing before you dead sentences given by doctors some of you are holding it and wondering can God change it there are many of us in situations that only God in heaven you can't even share it with human beings because they do not have the faith to believe a man can be going through this and still be alive but there is a God in heaven brothers and sisters you are gathered tonight before that God in heaven 
there are men who are held in bondage god has anointed and called them but the doors of ministry will never open you know why because many of them don't want to serve god doing ministry is not serving god no sir make no mistakes about it you're a man of god here pay close attention let me show you why you keep getting disappointment in ministry you can be anointed praying in tongues raising the dead all that is stories if your heart is not committed to serving the purposes of the kingdom forget about all of these things most people want power when you see a man of god walking in the anointing when you see crowds when you see all kinds of results happening in the life of a man and a ministry many people admire it. they want it you see god has no problem giving it but your motive your motive your motive oh god give me twins god says even if you want 10 i can give you what is your motive let me tell you something this issue of committal to serve god this committal to follow and pursue hard after god is a big secret a big secret the justification behind the stagnancy of many people and the motivation behind them leaving that place to another realm let my people go oh lord change my financial status god says i can it is within my power but what for and he said god i'm just tired of poverty god says that's not enough reason that's if i give you too much money with no assignment it will kill you it will destroy you the bible says the prosperity of fools will destroy them lord give me a crowd of thousands of people make me a man of influence lord let people love me let me just be a celebrity and god says it's all within my power justify your reason and he says lord i came from a background of inferiority god says so what that's not a reason for me to trust you with influence and grace but when a man's heart becomes resolute lord grant me finances so that one day i will override the building of your house god says you want to do this for me and then you quote his scripture back for the sake of thy house i desire thy prosperity and god says that's it you satisfy the condition to see my hand lord heal my body i want to serve in your house but the department i want to join requires energy and lord i have found out that i have a medical condition that cannot allow me carry chairs and god says who gave you that condition the moment anything stands between you and serving god it has become god's enemy is god's own fight let me tell you how to join god and satan you service let your problem follow you to the altar of service and stand back and god says whatever stands in the way of any man serving me has become my enemy including a man are we together now when he when 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 the captain of the host of israel appeared before joshua he said are you for us or against you he said all that is nonsense whoever is on god's side is the person i'm for if you are against god i strike you if you are for god we are a team god is not a christian god is on the side of whoever has the heart to glorify the father and to see his kingdom come and his purposes established that you're a christian is no guarantee that you will get the partnership of god your heart is god preaching to someone tonight lord i want you to launch me far i want you to change my life you have said it's the year of triumph and god says it's not a lie brother there is more anointing and unction than you have ever dreamt to walk in leave all these kindergarten visions here and there there are superior dimensions but your motive you, you pray for 40 days but your motive corrupts it from day one and god says come to a point where your heart is committed to serving me and i will not release do you know my 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 project with god is to come to a point where god is not afraid of doing anything with me or committing anything to me i want to get to that level of trust with god where whether the virtues are with him or with me it makes no difference because it's all his own come on now whether that anointing is in the throne room or walking through my life it makes no difference because it is for his glory 
tonight hear me it is god's desire to heal you it doesn't take rocket science but now when you become free and energetic what do you do with that strength that's a question god is asking lord i used to sing well but then i had an infection that destroyed my voice and god says but i've never seen you commit yourself to singing in my house and lifting up my name and now you want me to clear that throat condition so that you go back and the devil will use your voice for nonsense and god says no way you can cry you can roll on the floor if your motif is not intact forget about the experience of the power of god are we together now say lord say it everybody lord i declare that as you bless me as you heal me as you deliver me i vow to serve you with my life i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turn take my hand the cross before me the world behind me no turning back no turning back the cross before me the world behind me no turning back no turning back no man forsake me still i will follow no turning back hey, no turning back no man forsake me still i will follow no turning back no turning back come on sing it before him i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back it's a costly assumption to assume tonight that everybody wants to follow jesus he said I've, I've discovered that there are people who genuinely are not interested in following god i'm not talking of self-perfection i'm talking of a sincere committal to following jesus genuinely with your life no way there are many parasites of jesus financial parasites of jesus there are parasites of kingdom principles they want to use kingdom principles and mysteries as a ladder to become famous sir it doesn't work that way oh please hear me tonight there are people every time you hear a man of god talk about passion for jesus you think they are talking about ordination to ministry no sir is an addiction to see his kingdom come for god's sake what else will i be doing with my life if not lifting up his name jesus i lift up your name jesus i lift up your name that's what i do for a living jesus i lift up your name Lift your voice and say, Jesus, I lift up your name. If God cannot find his purposes fulfilled through your life, I tell you, forget about the outstretched hand of God. You hear me say this: don't let any man fool you. God is not a herbalist, 
my brother is your heart god is looking for not tight not offering your heart not music not just energy my son give me your heart give me your heart give me your heart i want your heart when we talk about jesus christ many people frown their face as if you are speaking against civilization the things that will come please hear me people of god the things that will come will require outspoken radical passion for jesus all this organized civilized nonsense that makes god look secondary will be the recipe for the dominion of darkness over the life of people oh i'm now 25 years don't don't make me look like a child i'm now 30 years i hope you know i'm now the director of a and b and c nonsense and that's the reason why you are uh, david danced before god and his wife said how about king and keep your dignity and david looked at her and said hold on you don't even know the mystery of how you became my wife if you know it you will join me dancing i was a little boy with no hope no destiny didn't read any book i was a smelly shepherd in the wilderness i danced my way beyond any king to get to the throne and now because i am here you carry your dignity the bible says god had him all and that woman died barren it was not the devil that made her barren let my people go not that they may go around causing trouble and wasting time and just counting age and growing older let my people go that they may go and serve me this issue of living for jesus serving jesus no let bless him accepting him into your heart there are many people when you talk about genuine surrender not coming out to recite an altar call i make up my mind i am for jesus forever they laugh at you they laugh at you because it doesn't make sense to them they don't see the need why should i give my life to jesus i want to be the god of my own self so you manage your life by yourself i want to be the god of my own self so you answer your prayer by yourself i want to be the god of my own self so you mismanage your life by yourself it says submit down to the mighty hand of god then resist the devil and he will flee you know i sincerely see a lot of people great men and women of god who want to walk in the anointing and i see the way they play games with submitting to the authority of christ you will never be trusted with certain dimensions of the anointing until god vets your passion you can't fake it there is a level of kingdom influence and power no it go to a harbor list you will still not get that dimension it takes your heart dead to christ not just living this one you have died to the purposes of the kingdom otherwise you cannot carry certain levels of grace no the kingdom has rules you you can fake it with men but not with god there is a dimension brothers and sisters where god vets your heart and sees that pastor femi will live and die for me i'm not it's not one leg in today and god is not sure of what you will become in 2019 no no please sit down listen to me everyone inside outside the overflows along the road listen i want to make a serious altar call now everybody sit down and listen carefully let me tell you something brothers and sisters coming to surrender your heart to jesus is not an initiation 
into a religion called Christianity now are we together now where you are switching founders from an idol worshiper you were worshiping stone are we together and now you say Kai, stone is not a better alternative so I come to another founder there are not ten gods there is one God hear ye O Israel the Lord our God is one God I don't care who preaches what there is only one God the King eternal we can argue it but one day very soon the difference will be made clear there are people seated here listening to me I don't condemn you but brothers and sisters it's time to be serious with God shortly you're going to experience radical deliverances and healings and miracles but that is only useful when your heart is with God I don't care whether you have been a pastor for 10 years there are two altar calls I'm going to make in one right now please hear me carefully those following us online from any nation you're following just listen carefully you may not be able to run out but I want you to pay attention and participate number one there are people for you you have never made a genuine decision you have heard that people repent you have heard that people come to Jesus you have even given them transport money but genuinely from your heart my father is a pastor that's not what I'm saying I grew up in a church you are joking you have to come genuinely we gave our lives to Christ it's not an inheritance of a family you come personally the other day they blessed all of us together you are not born again it has to be genuine personal and conscious when I was a baby they baptized me come and join them as soon as I made that altar call you come and join them are we together number two there are those who the war of passion and seriousness with God there is this fear of getting serious with God for some reason you think if I get serious with God my, I won't make it in life the moment I'm serious with God I won't get a nice husband uh, men these days don't like serious ladies who, who lie to you which men which one are you talking about the drunk are there the smoke are there or a genuine Holy Ghost born again visionary brother if I'm serious with God when it's time to chop in the office my conscience will not allow me chop that's a joke is it that God cannot bless you must you bribe to rise that's how everybody is doing it you are lying that's not how every that's how you know or you have been taught that everybody is doing it Elijah said I'm the only one God said keep quiet there are 7,000 others who have not bowed to Baal please hear me there are people here God wants to visit your family but there is no one in your family who is born again and you will be the first tonight because God needs an access point to your family the system of the kingdom is such that God must find a portal within a territory to manifest his purposes within that territory if and when God does not find a man his power is still limited there must be an individual through sacrifice and alignment who will be able to host the purposes of the kingdom within a sphere to allow the possibilities of God find expression so if God wants to come to your family he moves everywhere and everybody says I'm, I'm, I'm too busy he comes to your mother she says I'm too busy looking for money he comes to your father I'm too confused to give my life to you comes to your brother no I'm, I'm too I'm too I want to marry now God please go somewhere he comes to your sister I'm looking for men there's no time to look for God and God says I want to step into this family no one has given me space if God can find one person he, he needs to take it step by step when he finds you the prophetic implication of your relationship starts judging the powers of darkness one by one and before you know it someone starts having a strange dream in your family he lies down and he has a dream of rapture he won't share it but that dream would torture him till he thinks about it he would get up alone and you find out for the first time he didn't steal money again he saw angels he saw the white throne he doesn't need to know what it is his spirit has been designed to recognize spiritual things 
tonight you must come genuinely to Jesus don't come out here if you are playing games it has let me tell you the implication of coming out here you must be ready to scatter and destroy wrong dangerous and ungodly relationships by the grace and the Spirit of God you just need the will the grace is what you receive here number two you must be ready and willing to be committed to the house of God to grow this dilly darling with God is the recipe for failure I'm too young to reject God the fierceness of life will destroy me if at my level in life I claim I'm too big for God before we continue tonight I'm going to count one to ten listen everyone heard me loud and clear overflow outside overflow along the road as I'm speaking to you the Holy Ghost is probing you those of you standing on the fence there I see you and the Lord is speaking to you online probably you are listening now or following from another nation of the world and you are saying but I'm far distance is no barrier it doesn't matter you are still on earth everyone on earth will be judged whether you are in London whether you are wherever I'm going to make this altar call now I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come to Jesus I know you will be healed young and old I don't care how long you have been you are saying Lord I'm tired of living my life the way I want I want to hand it genuinely inside outside start running one to ten one genuinely run like there's fire on the mountain two Three. So keep coming. Don't say there's no space. Even if you have to line up outside, no problem. This is your salvation with God greater than any miracle tonight. Just find somewhere to stand. If the place is full, keep lining up there, right outside. Five. Someone is still thinking about it and saying, Apostle, I'm a nice person. Have never done anything wrong. It's just that I've not declared Jesus. Join them. By the self-righteousness of no man can he be saved. You didn't do anything wrong. But that very nature of darkness is resident upon you. All of you who are standing here, please don't look at anyone. Lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to Jesus. Everyone who is standing, stretch right outside and those online. Talk to Jesus right now. And say, Jesus, I come to you. I come to you pray talk to him and everyone seated I expect you to be praying for someone's salvation you know everybody around you cannot be saved there is somebody somewhere still hardened towards the things of God lift your voice and cry to Jesus Lord I'm saved but my father is not saved he's on his way to hellfire and I know it my mother is not saved I know today that if the trumpet sounds they are going to hell for sure I know my sister is not saved my husband is not saved my wife is not saved my colleague in office is not saved Lord I know that pastor is not saved he has a church but he's not saved pray cry your heart to Jesus he is here much miracle service you are meeting with the Savior he wants to reveal himself first as Savior before deliverer before healer hallelujah hallelujah all of you standing stretched to the outside please look at me I see you some of you are crying sincerely from your heart listen 
there is no man who has the power and authority to condemn you young and old i don't care what you have done i don't care how your life is we are all products of his mercy and grace are you hearing what i'm saying don't let any man point an accusing finger but then you cannot remain where you are there are people standing here and say man of god if you will lead me to pray i will i will love it i've been praying for an opportunity like this but there are powers always keeping me wherever you are inside outside don't mind who is looking at you lift your right hand to heaven and you're going to say this prayer after me please it is not a poem it is a genuine genuine prayer meaning from the depth of your heart it says i am not ashamed of the gospel why for it is the power of god unto salvation the lord wants to give you a new beginning i know you came to be healed but he wants to take over your destiny with your hands lifted to jesus who is here not in heaven right here in this place say after me passionately and sincerely say lord jesus i love you with all my heart this night i have heard your word and i make up my mind that from tonight and for the rest of my days i will live for you i will serve you without shame without fear without going back this night i hand over my life to you say it again i hand over my life to you be my lord be my savior i declare that the power of sin of satan of the flesh is broken every association that is not of god i'm separated from them this night i declare that the joy of salvation and the peace and a new beginning is mine from today i am a child of god and i will live for him forever hallelujah keep your hands lifted jesus look at the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and today we are glad to present them to you this is why you put this meeting together we lift them up as trophies worthy trophies for your blood worthy trophies for your death and lord i decree and declare that this ones you have brought tonight none will be lost i speak over your life the joy of salvation that very few people know about may it be your inheritance today i declare that the peace that surpasses all understanding let it be yours today i declare that every guilt the devil uses against you every accusation will roll it away right now in the name of jesus i declare your sins forgiven by the mercies of god i declare that you have a new beginning with god you are empowered by the spirit to live a victorious life in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let's appreciate them keep standing everyone i'll give you some instructions now now there are so many of you probably hundreds of you this is what i want you to do um protocol please help coordinate let's do it this way those of you who are in the second overflow the overflow right from the door that leads to the road as you go out please let's have some of the ushers you stand so they can attend to you there what will happen is they are going to have your details i know you are all so many but we want your details we have a system to follow you up and to make sure you are grounded in god that's number one that's the first instruction so those outside those here at the overflow and those inside you may not need to go out just wait where you are and someone will come to attend to you please i hope the relevant departments are listening so that we can respond to them very quickly we have five ten minutes for this because i'll start praying for the sick now praise the lord now the second instruction i want to give all of you is this the bible says they that be planted in the house of god 
it says they shall flourish it is important not only for you to just get born again but to be planted in the house of god instruction number three is we have a system of spiritual growth here in koinonia it's a very large house so what we do is that anyone who gets born again automatically we transfer them to our prayer department for one month whether or not you will continue as a member in the prayer department the prayer department meets tuesdays 4 p.m just at the church uh, when you walk from this road right down rema chapel more information will be communicated to you and so we usually have all um, new converts to be part of the prayer department there you get to be filled with the holy spirit and you have seasons of prayer to build your spirit and it helps you to cultivate a culture of the word and also to have a kingdom community that supports your spiritual growth all these things are very important for your growth i don't want you to waste this experience praise the lord i bless you in the name of jesus and shortly the lord is going to be turning your life around in greater dimensions so let's do this very quickly appreciate them as they go just guide them whether or not you belong to any department you're a member of koinonia you see any of them moving just guide them as they go out quickly let's honor them koinonia as they do so is that the best you can do hallelujah please coordinate them coordinate them let's just give them some room so that they can go out and then we will shake off every power of darkness roaming around anybody's life i never see anyone like you i never see anyone like you hey, i never see anyone Wait, Sam, help me. Like I never see anyone like you. 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 everyone stand up let's pray some prayers before let's pray some prayers while they are working on the people everyone say after me in the name of Jesus please say be serious in the name of Jesus father tonight visit me this is my destiny Give me strange results. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Visit me. In the name of Jesus, visit me. Step into my destiny. Step into my destiny. Step into my destiny. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Shout it again in the name of Jesus. Every long standing issue in my life and my destiny I declare that you must give way tonight lift your voice and begin to pray long standing challenges Are you praying tonight? Long-standing issue. <laughs> 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, if you can, pair yourselves into two and pray this prayer. If you are holding a child or you are doing something, that's all right. Otherwise, find somebody, a serious neighbor, hold a hand. I want you to agree. Say, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the door for the next level of my life and that of my neighbor must be open now. Lift your voice and pray. Agree. If any truth shall agree and touch it. Believe in what you are saying. You are opening doors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are still holding your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Father. Tonight. Take away shame. Take away mockery. From my life. My family. And my neighbor. Lift your voice and pray seriously. Roll away the reproach. Roll away the reproach of mockery. Roll away the reproach of shame. Roll away the reproach. Pray. Roll away the reproach. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, expose every force, every yoke, every spirit behind the tragedies in my life, in my destiny, and my family. Expose them tonight. Lift your voice and pray. For the light shines in darkness. Pray for the light shines in darkness. Let your light shine, O God. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your anointing, let your unction locate me tonight and turn my life around. Lift your voice and pray that the power of God must locate me. Change my destiny. Let your power pray. One encounter with the anointing of the Holy Ghost can wipe your tears, my brother, my sister. Pray. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. 
like a candle lights me Lord lights me Lord lights me Lord light me Lord lights me Lord Listen, listen to me. I will just give you an instruction. Just help those under the anointing, but listen to me carefully, please, everyone. Do you know the reason why we minister deliverance? Listen, listen carefully. You have to understand this. The reason why we minister deliverance, you don't spend your whole life going through deliverance. However, there are lives come my dear when a spirit listen carefully when a spirit latches onto your life and destiny brothers and sisters let me tell you i don't care what you do physically remember spiritual intelligence you can be doing the right physical things but the presence of a spirit representing an embargo representing a covenant an authorization for your doom will keep you down there and you find out that your life will never open up when people gather like this hear me they come with prayer requests they come with problems but you see behind those problems are spirits are we together now the spirits that are responsible for lack of favor the spirits that are responsible for a hard life the spirits that are responsible for infirmity all kinds of cases you know one of our dear people here in the ministry i prayed over the father's picture i've seen those kinds of cases on television and all of that but you could look at the leg and see the bone the bone the flesh had eaten to a point that you could see the bone what happened to the man he went to bed in the night brothers and sisters i think somebody did something for him in a dream and he woke up physically and his legs started eating up the bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness you want to move forward but there is an embargo the solution is not counseling you need an encounter with power everybody say power listen the power of the holy spirit is not a negotiator it's an enforcer when the power of god comes it does not ask you whether you want to be free your assignment is to be open till it reaches you when it comes it scatters anything that does not look like god lift your hands everyone just lift your hands and be silent i'll pray for you now the spirit of god is upon me lift your hands everyone there are people here right now I want you to bring there the first sets of people who will come out. Usher's grace for you and protocol. I know you have a lot of work today because there's such a crowd right to the road. But I want to pray. Everyone, please lift your hands. The Lord is speaking to me. There are people right now in your silence. Hold on. Maybe just this. The power of God will begin to come upon you. What is happening right now before we pray for the sick is massive deliverance. That deliverance is equal to breakthrough, equal to new levels. But lift your hands. There are people here who are under strong yokes of delay. And the Lord gives me an instruction. We will just lift our hands and be silent. That's all the instruction. And inside and outside, the Spirit of God will begin to locate them. 
are we together when that happens then we'll take it off from there that's the first thing God wants to do tonight just lift your hands everyone thank you Jesus the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands and there are people and families and those following on online except you are not under the influence of the spirit of delay that spirit must leave you are we together so keep your hands lifted thank you Jesus Lord wherever they are right now I stretch my hands according to the instructions you have given me inside and outside right now I see the anointing of the spirit already falling over the spirit of delay keep your hands lifted Shalakataya. bring them out outside there just the angels of the Lord are walking I'm seeing like smoke just moving across lines line by line inside and outside when it comes to you when you are under that influence that's the end of it right now I command it the word of the Lord is upon this prophecy in the name of Jesus no instruments don't play anything outside there is massive deliverance happening separation from delays separation from delays bring them out thank you Jesus delays you want to move forward but the spirit ties you down it's over right now no you can't dodge it you are under an atmosphere there is an influence the influence of the spirit line by line the Holy Ghost is moving row by row there is no faking it line by line Lord every row every line every individual let no one in this category escape it for the sake of your mercy and your grace no matter where you are inside and outside online don't worry the spirit of God is moving one by one it must catch up with you the word of the Lord is upon it bring them out young old destinies that have been delayed tonight there is serious grace for deliverance those of you lifting up your hands be sensitive be sensitive we're in a prophetic atmosphere right now bring them i see people outside Kai, my god 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 many people many people many people many people there's someone you are following from kenya you are watching from a laptop the anointing your hands are shaking the spirit of the lord is upon you judging every darkness shalabakatayabara tonight you will be located by god you prayed it you must be free please help the ushers if there are too if there are too few protocol join them different departments help them the lord really wants to set people free it's a year of triumph don't think these people are just coming out for show they represent breakthroughs these are the people who god wants to give testimonies darkness raging over the lives of people they came from different places how will god leave them that way right now all of you in front here i decree and declare to those spirits at the count of three let them go you know my voice one two three go 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 out of their lives now out now i command you by the influence of the spirit i decree and declare let their destinies go delay broken now hallelujah now lift your hands my god you'll be surprised at what will happen now everyone say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus the grace 
for open doors right now break every chain in my life keep your hands lifted watch it happen now that's the instruction God gave me that grace breaking chains now I'm speaking across the congregation I have been seeing this for weeks but locks opening in the realm of the spirit that's what the Lord is showing me but locks opening 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 right now I open them I'm under the shadow of yours Your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of yours Your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow your influence is on Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Fire is coming on 32 people. And this fire that is coming upon them is to break family altars i hear family altars right now oh god in the name of jesus one two three i set those altars now on fire right now 32 people i see in the realm of the spirit i command it right now i command it everyone on this ground under the influence of any altar now be free now help them please help that lady be free now so right now be free now be free now your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of your own everyone lift your hands say this after me in the name of Jesus please say it seriously say in the name of Jesus any spirit that has had access to my life and is causing destruction hear the word of the lord as i shout the name jesus i command you to live my life at the count of three shout jesus there will be an exiting of many strange spirits one two three shouting i command spirits you go now you go now you go now you go now inside and outside any spirit resident within any man's life any woman's life causing pain help me say as I pray for grace for you in Jesus name because what I see now is not a nice scene the Lord is asking me that we shout Jesus there are people who are going to vomit physical things that's why I said it's a messy scene I, I apologize we're very neat and organized people inside and outside but in the name of Jesus right now any stranger in your body at the count of three must go out now one two three i command every stranger go now every poison every devil causing sickness
sicknesses, every fibroid, every devil, every enchantment. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision of a lady. If you're here, I want you to come out. I'm seeing your family doing something like a sacrifice, and they are giving somebody, everybody, a substance like a drink, something to take. They gave everybody, including you, and you took it. Where is that person? Please, if you're here, I want you to come out quickly. It's a, it's a highly diabolic thing they gave everybody. Where are you? Come. Your deliverance comes now. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Help me. Your influence is all upon me. Let's have another mic, please. Hold on. Stand up, my dear. Is this a lady? Two of them? Stand up. Where are you from? Look at me. Huh? Kogi State. What happened to you? Hold on. I converted. Hold on. I'm looking at you, Kai. This thing. You entered a covenant. Huh? With who? I don't know my mother i don't know they brought somebody and you people entered a covenant and they gave you something hold my hands shout jesus, jesus. i command that covenant jesus. that demonic thing time your life and this miracle service it lives now in the name of jesus you too where are you from i'm from kogi state you are from kogi state the same thing hold my hands look at me I command that devil to leave you now whatever yoke please don't come out if i don't call your case are you part of them mr man young man you're part of them in the name of jesus i set you free bring the, your, you two come make sure that so that we don't get the place rowdy be delivered now help her out be free now out i'm interested in this lady please stand up my dear if you can this lady's whole family is in bondage whole family the entire family nothing is working in your family the lord wants to deliver you right now hold my hands i command that spirit your time is up leave this family now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i break the yoke over your life now out now There is a lady you have been coughing blood where are you you are coughing literally and blood is coming out there is a lady like that please where are you let's hurry up we have a lot to do this night the lord is asking me to minister to a lady that coughs and then blood you cough blood who is that inside outside except you are under the anointing please come out quickly i want to pray for that person now where are you how long Hold on, just, just keep her. Where's the mic? How long? You? You are an usher? You? How long? Three weeks. Eh? Three weeks. For three weeks you've been caught. Lay your hand on your chest. You too. Lay your hands on your chest. You too. Huh? Substance. Even your what? Hold on, please. Guys, hold on. Yours is what? The substance you spoke about. What substance? Family. lift and your hands question. lift your hands lift both of them i'm seeing an angel pouring something on your hand your hand will start shaking and then the lord is bringing you strange deliverance it will start from your hands down to your body i place the word of god upon your life right now in the name of jesus christ both of you look at me both of you cough out blood in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon you it ends now in the name of Jesus out right now there are spirits responsible for this Kite. 
Do you know what I just saw? The Lord opened my eyes and I saw like a cage. And in the cage, I saw snakes. That's all I'm seeing. That's all I'm seeing. Lift your hands, everybody. The Lord is just asking me to wave my hands over the congregation. There are people who represent that oppression. It will leave now. The Lord is asking me to wave my hands. Lord, as you have said, I see snakes in cages. Whose destiny is that? Right now, whose destiny is that? I wave my hands in the name of Jesus. Please release them for your glory. Release them now. Help them, please, Jesus Christ. Inside, outside. Be out of that cage now. I see snakes, serpents. Some of you see them in your dreams. They must go now. They are leaving you now. Now. They are leaving you now. I command liberty. 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 Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Jane. Jane, like J A N E. Jane. 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 I'm also hearing another name, Victory. Is it Victory? Like Victory. Victory. Please don't come out if that's not your name. What's your name? Jane. Your name is Victory. Where are you from? Delta State. Delta State. I have to pray for you. Your family is being seriously oppressed. Why are you people here? You are all Jane. Jane, your name is Victory. I want to pray for you. Kaza Chat. Kaza Chat. Is it Kaza Chat? Who is that? Kaza Chat. I'm hearing that name. That's that's like a Kaduna name. Kaza Chat. Please, who is that? The breakthrough of your family has come. Kaza Chat. Is it? I don't know why God is going to Kaduna now. Nom. Is it Nom Shu or Nom Shu or something like that? I don't know if there's a name like that. Nom. Nom Shu or something like that. Nom something. Listen, that is your name. You are. Why are they here? I call their names. I'm going to lay hands on you. Except for you. I don't even know why the rest of you are. But please, I want you to believe. The moment I lay my hands on you, something will happen. The Lord is saying I should start with you. Lord, open her door now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Reproach leaves your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reproach leaves your life now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Reproach leaves your life now. Reproach leaves your life now. Hold my hands. Call your parents and tell them the Lord is giving them breakthrough. Your family, your entire family. Delta State. Breakthrough right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. There's serious witchcraft over your life. Hold my hands. Lord, the Lord is asking me to walk with you. This is how your destiny is opening up. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Walk with you. To walk with you. Something is happening. It's a prophetic act. You will not help her to walk with you. Opens in the name of Jesus. Your destiny opens up now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. This girl, lift your hands where you are. I'm seeing wind around you. And the Lord is that wind is going anti-clockwise anti-clockwise and the Lord said his restoration I stretch my hands upon you right now I release that grace for restoration restoration there are seven other people who will tap from this anointing this same anointing right now seven seven right now the anointing for restoration is coming upon them receive it right now wherever you are Zabata katalakata frateka sebrende gatai Lekate praskata barato shubrediara. Hallelujah. 
I'm seeing one mama outside. It's like you came here with your daughter or something. I'm seeing a woman sit down with her daughter outside. Now that's all I'm giving about you. Please, if you can find that woman and if you understand what I've said, I want you to run and come. I want to pray for the sick now, but God is delivering people. God is delivering people. Seth. Seth. Who is Seth? S-E-T-H. S-E-T-H. Your name is Seth. 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 The Lord is stepping into his life right now. Seth. Is there someone with that name? Seth. Have you found the mama I'm talking about? Don't worry, let them come. Let them come. Doesn't matter. With your daughter. Mama. There is the spirit of death on your family. I'm going to pray for you. Don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. You came from where, Mama? I came from Edo State. From Edo State? Yes, but I'm living with Sasa. You live in Wusasa? Yes. But you came from Edo State. Yes. I must pray for you. There, why is he here? Who is this gentleman? Set. You too. You are an usher. Okay. I, this is not the set I'm seeing. No, I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone else. Eh? Please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. Huh? Because I'm seeing an accident killing you. And you took what's the name of this thing they take? We we and you were high. You were about to cross the road, and then I'm seeing a truck with the name Angote on it, just running and killing you. There is somebody here you smoke please don't be there's nothing to be embarrassed about it's not like you are not a serious person but this thing you started taking it from when you were small and it's destroying your life you want to be free but you can't leave it please don't be ashamed come out now quickly please if you are still thinking about it remain on your seat some you have to be free now come out i'm seeing one you wore jeans dress like your shirt I don't know if it's your shirt, it's jeans. Who is that? No, no. There, there's another. Come out, I will pray for you. This, this is not the only guy. Just keep them here. I will pray for him. I'm seeing another person outside the second overflow. You are standing on the road. The Spirit of God is speaking to you. Speaking to you. This thing they roll and they smoke. And then you even, I'm seeing you swallowing a drug. I don't know what drug is that. Please come out, come out. Clap for them as they come out. Join them quickly and come. Whether I mention your case or not, you are involved in any kind of liquor and addiction. India, hem, whatever, forward march. Come here, your salvation, come sir. Please appreciate them, clap for them. Some of them are not bad people, it's a spirit. Don't be ashamed. Please usher uh, direct them so that they come here. I'm seeing up to five ladies in this group. Up to five ladies. Come. Don't be ashamed. Don't let anyone laugh at you. Please, this is a miracle service. Join them. We we codeine. Whatever it is, join them. Whether you know the name of what you are smoking or swallowing or not, come and join them. Please quickly. That addiction must be broken now. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Keep coming. The devil is a liar. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. hallelujah i'm seeing a very small boy very small boy very small boy who is supposed to join them young man please hold on 
please if the parents of the boy are here don't flog him please this is a very small boy you will not even know that this boy is wise to smoke this thing he saw an elderly person smoking it come out there is a small boy here i know what drag him out come where is the boy come out please gentlemen i'm going to pray for you don't worry you are not bad people i'm seeing a number of ladies up to five ladies they are refusing to come out there's nothing to be embarrassed jesus christ wants to set you free this is a miracle service it's not like you have evil people that's not what we are saying it's a spirit you don't stop by counseling mama there is a spirit of death over your family and i will pray for you i will pray for you in the name of jesus who is this your daughter what's your name my dear Hold on. is this mic working can you add Lillian, the voice Lillian. Lillian what do you want God to do for you I want God to heal you what's wrong with you I mean, I have a problem with my tongue. no 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 you had a dream huh you saw a snake you can't even remember it and from that day you started having serious problem with your stomach huh what's wrong with you I go to guests and, 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 and they told me that it's a, a liver problem. Liver problem? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because I look at you and you would think you are pregnant, but you are not pregnant. Your stomach is swelling up. Mama, is that true? Yes, How long has it been? It's, it's out of three years now. Look at, look at, look at evil and wickedness. Are you married? Because you see now, assuming a brother has been trusting God to marry this sister, do you think the brother will marry her? Please help me. Do you think he will marry her? You look at her now and you think she's five or six months pregnant, but she's not pregnant. Kai. There is a lady who has refused to come out. The power of God is going to come upon her outside. You are supposed to be part of those who will be delivered here. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord outside. That lady, you were a sincere lady, but I, I don't know if it's um, another lady. I don't want to say what I'm seeing, not to embarrass you. Because the, what you were introduced to is not only smoking this. There are other things that I see that I may not be able to talk about. I'm, I'm asking you to come out. God wants you to be free for the sake of your family. The power of God is going to come upon you outside. Outside. To be free of this thing. My dear, look at me. This is koinonia. The Lord is going to set you free. You believe in miracles? Mama, you believe in miracles? Yes, I have to pray for you. Money runs away from you. Huh? Madam, I will pray for you. Mama? Huh? Yamuke. Do you hear how, sir? I have to hear. Okay. This is your daughter? Please be comfortable. Whatever language you can speak, there is an interpreter here. Nobody says you must be able to speak English or whatever. Any language, please. If I call you here or you stand here for healing, don't be under any pressure to say you must. Whatever language is comfortable, speak it. If I don't understand, we'll find somebody to interpret. Please, don't put yourself under pressure and say no. We are excellent people, but we are not fools. We can't put anyone under pressure hallelujah mommy i want to pray for you because i'm seeing the lord bringing restoration to your life this is what i am seeing and the lord is asking me to pray for you can i pray for you ma'am i will pray for you i have to pray i'm seeing not you but i'm seeing somebody close to you having an accident traveling to abuja and having an accident we have to pray i'm not saying it will happen once god reveals it is broken lord jesus stretch your hands and let's pray for this mommy you don't have to know her please stretch your hands and pray lord we avert death we avert death now in the name of jesus christ we avert death by the power of the holy ghost mama
is there a name like Gracilda? Is it Gracilda or Gracilda? Gracilda or Gracilda, something like that. Gracilda, Gracilda, something like that. If that sounds like your name, I'm sorry if I don't mention it well. The Lord kept mentioning it in my ears. Gracilda or Gracilda, something like that. If that is your name, please come on. Eh? Jacinta. No. But come. Where are you coming from? Zaria. Zaria. I have to pray for you. There's a gentleman who will destroy you. Be free now from every influence. Hold my hand. Anybody that is not designed by God, I separate you and him forever. Say amen. In Jesus' name. Gracilda. Gracilda. I'm hearing Gracilda. Something Hilda. Please. If it's not you, no problem. But that's what I'm hearing. Mama, let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit new beginning for you hold up please in the name of jesus christ my dear lay your hands on your stomach Kai. lord jesus you gathered people here tonight to set them free i cause the spirit responsible for this i decree and declare that this stomach will shrink every devil will go away in the name of jesus christ if you agree with me, say amen. amen. Look at me, and you will never be barren in your life. Amen. Say amen. amen. There are two ladies, you are inside here. There is an embargo of barrenness on your family. Fire is coming on those two ladies now to break that embargo. You don't even know. It's in your family, it may not be in your life. But I'm seeing it right now. The angel of the Lord is locating two ladies right now and is breaking that embargo. Thank you, Father. I put the word of God upon this prophetic word. That embargo is broken right now. Right now. Right now. Two ladies. Two ladies. There's no reason why you should come here and your life should be the same. Mama, I will pray for you. This is your daughter. Do you know that God is going to use this girl? God will use your daughter for his glory. Hold my hands, my dear. There is a small girl now, but God will use you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I anoint you. Mama, I decree and declare, let hardship live your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let hardship live your life. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. I'm seeing a wind and the Lord is asking me to follow it. This is somebody's deliverance here. This is somebody's deliverance here. This is somebody's deliverance here. This is somebody's deliverance. The power of God is coming upon a few people as I'm walking across this place. This is somebody's deliverance. This is somebody's deliverance. Lord, set them free right now. Right now right now i'm seeing something rolling around this row this row this row this row shala sobaria taska bandabria legetege bashara toska bredia there's no hiding there's no hiding someone in this row someone in this row someone in this row hardship over your family is being broken right now i'm stretching my hands this row right there father locate that person right now right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ mama come i want you to rejoice look at me the lord hold on the lord is saying i should tell you that where you have been crying you will begin to laugh you have been crying for 30 years and the Lord is saying your breakthrough has come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ please shoot for me come madam hold my hands the Lord is there and she tell you it's your season of laughter in the name of Jesus Christ your season of laughter your season of laughter look at me lose her hands now lose her hands now lose her hands now 
in the name of Jesus Christ let her hands be loose your hands are tied I lose your hands in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ open doors open doors open doors open doors open doors that's what the Lord is saying open doors the Lord has said you have waited too long it's time for the door of your destiny to be open open doors come there is a spirit in your life that makes bad boys look for you hold my hands leave her now out out when bad boys see you they can't leave you as they are passing they see you that spirit calls them back I don't know who this girl is you're a small girl but the things you know and what you have done out now in the name of Jesus you have gone to places you should not go you have you have the phone numbers of people that if we know now I'm not saying you're a bad girl it's a spirit including married men they will be minding their business that spirit will call them to you I command that devil to leave you now leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ I want us to pray for this gentleman before we pray for the sick you see let me tell you something addiction is a very wicked spirit don't look at them especially our dear sisters my brother what happened to you eh? gun shot gun shot yes, sir. who shot you I'm a soldier I was shot by my colleague Meduguri you are Meduguri yes sir no he wanted to kill you eh? yes. but he didn't kill you he was directed to kill you Hi. you are a soldier how long has this been going to seven months now seven months which where did they shoot your legs and you can't walk with it look at me you believe in miracles lift your crutch lift it lift it come come lift your legs go ahead you're a soldier lift your legs look at this come on koinonia look at this lift your crutch up look at this look at this look at this walk as fast as you can don't be afraid turn around turn around come because your wound is not healing there is a wound but that is not healing from today i pray for you in the name of jesus christ the lord who has perfected this leg will also perfect you where are you now you are in zaria you are still in the force yes you are still in the force huh? yes sir i want to pray for you do you believe god can favor yes sir i have to pray for you god is going to connect you with a senior person and he will lift you huh? look at me brothers and sisters i want to break this addiction from your life now are we together you are very sincere people some of you were initiated into this thing by bad friends some of you were initiated into these things by spirits I'm going to lay my hands on you while the congregation whether your child is here or not whether your brother is here or not as you are praying you are sowing a seed for your own home are you hearing what I'm saying stretch your hand don't look at anybody's face and run your mouth on any it's none of your business Koinonia is, a, is like a hospital. Stretch your hands. I will lay my hands on every one of them. Please, all of you should pray. I want to break addiction from your life. Don't feel condemned. Jesus will help you. It must be broken right now. Broken right now. Broken right now. Any kind of addiction. Out, out, now, out, out. In the name of Jesus, out. Look at this guy, out. Break from his life now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be set free. Be set free. As soon as I lay my hands on you, continue praying. Be set free. Addiction, break! Break!
break in the name of Jesus. Hold my hands, darling. No addiction for liquor. No addiction for drugs. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing something like an arrow coming out of your head. Out of her life now. In the name of Jesus, I break that addiction. Ah. Hey, Jimmy, come. The Lord is saying you should pray for this guy. He will pray for you. This guy needs serious prayer. Just lay your hands on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Out! Out! Now! I command that devil. This is somebody that loves God, but this addiction must be broken right now. I break it right now. I break it right now. Hold my hands. You are a nice lady, but we have to break this thing. Lord, please, for your mercy, let it be broken in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to minister to somebody. I'm seeing a very interesting case. You love God. Please don't be ashamed. There is a particular pain reliever you are addicted to. Who is that person? I want to pray for you now. Whether you are sick or not. Come and stand here particular pain reliever you can't help it you can wake up 1 a.m. in the night and swallow it it's a spirit pain reliever I'm not saying you are sick and they gave you in the hospital God is visiting addictions this night quickly come don't sit back and say I'm alright allow God set you free let them come Look at this. Pain. I don't know what it is, but I hear my spirit pain reliever. Whether you are sick, whether you are fine, the urge will hook you and you have to go and get it. If you, you can prefer to take it than to eat food, it must go right now. You reign, you reign, hello King. You reign, you reign, you reign, hello King. You reign, you reign, you reign, hello talk about deliverance now there are a number of things I want to teach you about deliverance let's talk about demons Let's talk a little bit. I have to, if I don't talk about demons, um, I'm looking at my course content here. Can we talk a little about demons? Matthew chapter 13, verse 24 to 30. Let's go to the parable of Jesus. I want us to study a bit on, on demons. Look at this another parable look up please he put forth unto them saying the kingdom of heaven that means the operation of the kingdom of heaven is likened to this a man which sowed good seed everybody say a man everybody say seed one more time say a man say seed he sowed good seed the fact that the bible specified good seed already is a message are we together remember my message during the prayer and fasting 25 
but while men slept while men did what his enemy came also having a seed his enemy didn't come with a knife his enemy didn't come with a gun his enemy watched what he sowed and came with his own too watch this and the bible says he came and sowed tears among the wheat and did what and went his way he represented his presence with the seed are we together now he went away when he dropped that seed there he didn't need to stay there again because he knew that the seed was a replica of himself but when the blade was sprung up so that which was a seed now became something else and brought forth fruit then appeared tears also so the servants of the household that came and said unto him sir did did not thou sow good seed in thy field in other words ah, didn't you get born again where did this come from are you not a pastor's child are you not a, 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 a prophet's daughter? Are you not? Is it not you that was baptized yesterday? Where did this come from? From whence then had it tears? 28. And he said, An enemy has done this. And then his servant told him, Will thou that we gather them up? And then he says, Allow it. That's, that's what 29 and 30 says. Lest while we gather up the tears, we root up the wheat in them. And then verse 30 let them both grow together until harvest in the time of the harvest i will say to the reapers gather first the tears that means something will happen in the time of harvest that will show the difference but as it is now you can't see it and if in an attempt watch this if you understand this mystery you will know why you can be doing many things and god will not talk to you about it it doesn't mean that he doesn't see it is because if he wants to circumcise you at that level it will affect your growth process so bad so he will be patient with you to just grow you can be an arrogant man and God will never say anything about your arrogance so you will think that you are all right just because he's not talking about it a day will come as you keep walking with him when he sees that you are now mature to undergo that level of spiritual circumcision he will take you back to the subject of arrogance and you will be surprised that you are in that level of height and now God is dealing with the issue of arrogance the seed the seed this, this demon spirits that we're talking about, we have to understand them. You hear people say demons everywhere. Many of you here in Koinonia and around, you've seen demons come out of people. You've seen their violence. You've seen their aggression. Sometimes you hear people speak, you know, another spirit. Many of you watch TV around or go for meetings. Where you, Who are they? Where, where do they come from? Genesis chapter 3. Let's see how we can look at it. Oh, Jesus. Is God blessing us already? Genesis chapter 3. Give us verse 15. Genesis chapter 3. Let me just touch on it. And that God will grant us grace. Now, by way of introduction to this, I hope you know that Paul the Apostle, Paul the Apostle did not leave us in the dark. As to the fact that when the Bible says darkness is a combination of many things I hope you know that when the Bible says darkness and it says spirits dark spirits is not just one a consummation of just a group of demons it is the summation of every spirit entity and every kind of spiritual organogram that is antagonistic to the ways of God because I'll, as I'll be showing you there are many there are many this is the Lord now speaking with the woman after their fall. I'm just saving time. That's why I said we should go to verse 15. If you're with me, say amen. And I will put enmity. Who is speaking here? God. Between thee and the woman. Between Satan and the woman. God is speaking to them both now. I will put enmity between you Satan and the woman he would have stopped there and then we'll understand but then he says I will also put enmity between what thy seed and her seed so that the person he's talking to has seed 
are you getting what i'm saying now he's talking to satan as one who has seed the capacity to multiply himself and his agenda hi and he looks at the woman you don't talk to a woman about seed because you know from biology that women don't have seed they receive seed so the thing confused satan god why are you now talking about her seed where is it going to come from that's why the moment cain came satan believed that cain was that seed and tried to attack him from that day till moses till everybody till john the baptist once satan sees a male that a woman is giving birth to he starts pursuing them because he suspects that that may be the seed are you getting the point now between your seed and her seed now questions we have seen the seed of the woman we are part of that seed correct where is the seed of satan because the bible lets us know very clearly god himself speaking that as the woman is multiplying her own seed this spirit entity is multiplying his own seed too are we together genesis chapter 6 Genesis chapter 6 and it came to pass I'm fast forwarding now it came to pass when men began to multiply upon the surface of the earth listen carefully it says and daughters were born unto them what happened verse 2 that the sons of God the Hebrew word there is benign Elohim it's not just sons of God like it was an error in translation it's not like sons of God like believers no are we together like like progenitors those who were part of his creation these were a class of angels that this class of angels came and saw the daughters of men do you know who these angels were these angels were not just the exalted angels because I hope you know that by the time the angels that fought with lucifer fell from heaven the ones that came down with him adam was not there adam's story and genesis one was not there they had fallen in a particular dispensation are you getting what i'm saying now mm. so by the time god is creating adam or recreating the earth and making adam there are already inhabitants in the earth satan alongside the myriads of fallen angels are you getting what i'm saying now mm. and because spirits don't die in the context of cessation of life i will tell you what the death of a spirit is i i, I told you i was going to tell you but spirits don't die in the context of ceasing from breathing and ceasing from movement the moment adam came to start another race these spirits were looking for a way to find expression are we together now it's a very serious thing and the bible says that while they were voyaging around the earth all of a sudden they saw the daughters of men that they were fair to look upon it's a scriptural way of saying they were very beautiful are we together that means those angels had feelings hello it's not all the classes of angels that you know theologically there are all kinds of arguments whether angels have the, uh, the ability to reproduce or not and we, we see it here that the angels saw the daughter of men the daughters of men and they took them wives that means they could marry they came down and saw beautiful ladies like you looking at me now and the angels chose they advised themselves he said look let's marry these women verse 3 and the lord said my spirit shall not always strive with man for seeing that his flesh is there shall be 120 verse 4 there were what now watch this the bible just tells us that a come darling an angel are we together now a fallen angel benign elohim all of a sudden sees human people pure humans and the bible says took them to wives and all of a sudden we now see the manifestation of a species that the bible calls them what i'm trying to trace the origin of demons for you that giants 
until this time there were no demons on earth they were fallen angels there were other dark spirits that had been in other civilizations but not demons these giants were in the earth the bible says that when the sons of god came into the daughters of men you know what that means and they bear what children that means that the seed those fallen angels had seed within them and that their seeds got these women pregnant and they gave birth to these giants who were mighty men of old men of renown are you following my story now so we trace that these women were minding their business all of a sudden these beings come that there is a possibility ah goodness so spirits can get physical women pregnant so we see that there's no argument there are we together this information is useful we need it because that's how jesus came into the world are we together now listen carefully jesus came into the world how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man joseph has not finished paying my dowry don't embarrass me and he said no a spirit is coming from heaven i will show you this is the mystery ah goodness i'm already excited let me just take it easy so these spirits came and all of a sudden when the women gave birth to children the children started growing unusually they had features that were superhuman it was clear that these spirits were not pure humans the seed of lucifer in those children started causing them the bible says god saw that the wickedness of man this spirit started introducing attributes upon the earth men were not that wicked all of a sudden there was a fabrication of different levels of wickedness and then the people in the earth ah, who are these beings that can be so wicked that means a normal man has a maximum level to which his heart can conceive evil if evil goes beyond that level something else is responsible for that level of heartlessness follow me because as i taught you this seed is still on earth today are we together the bible says that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was evil continually this was not the case now man had become so depraved the bible says and it repented the lord that he had made the man in the earth and it grieved his heart now watch this thank you darling did you know the lord said i will destroy man whom i have created from the face of the earth both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air for it repented me that i have made them just stop there god is regretting these spirits have found their way back into this adamic civilization they were there casted now with the ability to reproduce they found a way of creating continuity for themselves because remember the law of territory if you don't have a body these angels these spirits because they are not demons it is demons that don't have bodies angels have bodies that's why they could come to even meet angels can translate themselves into physical bodies is that true remember the angels that came to abraham they didn't come as ghosts flying they were human beings this was what caused the flood of noah are you getting what i'm saying now the flood of noah was a system of judgment that god needed to annihilate that entire race the question is the giants let me use you again the giant children that were born by these angels and this when the flood happened because spirits don't die in terms of cessation of living the bodies now died and the spirits are you getting the point now the spirits of all those rays the name of those giants as you know theologically speaking is called the nephilims are we together now this disembodied spirits because every time a spirit is not in a body what happens it becomes restless these spirits they can't go to heaven they can't go to hell and they float within the circumference of earth and the second heavens and that is the reason why these spirits today are those we call demons 
listen carefully the demon spirits that you call are the spirits of these nephilims the sons before demons came there was already darkness listen carefully before demons came they were already fallen angels the fallen angels and the daughters of men produce what we call demons disembodied spirits now watch this look up i want to prove a few things for you i, I hope that you are getting what are you get are we are we still together let me just know that we're together do you know that fallen angels cannot possess men there is no record in scripture from genesis to revelation where a spirit was inside a man are we together now and then they ask who are you and he says um i'm angel so 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 and so no no it may look like it is the spirit but those i will tell you what their office is because those fallen angels are still working today but they are not the ones inside men are we together those disembodied spirits are the ones who move and i hope you know that the disembodied spirits that fell are by far more than the number of human beings on earth that's why ten thousand of them will not mind finding accommodation in one man there is a desperate need for accommodation among those demon spirits till today look at look at how they cry when you want to cast them out that means they don't <laughs> listen are you seeing the extreme violence now please don't feel bad many of you have been delivered many of you will be delivered this night but listen notice that you will see a kind quiet person brother or sister and all of a sudden when those spirits are provoked by the power of god it will take five people to suddenly hold one person you see the way people are rolling on the floor there is no power you try rolling like that by yourself and see what happens another entity this disembodied spirit to the point that when jesus was about to cast them they begged him they said jesus you know our condition you are not in ignorance as to what is happening to us where do you because they know it's hard to find a body that can allow you to be comfortable that's why when they find it they go straight to the realm of your mind and create a system that makes sure even if they evict them they can still come back please understand what i'm teaching you and you will be free you will experience victory and you will possess your possession demon spirits they are everywhere today as i'm talking now there are demon spirits around hoping and waiting where will i get accommodation now are we together now where will i get accommodation now this is what it means for spirits to die when they say demon spirit should die is the restlessness that is created by exiting it from a mortal body it is an intense state of torture no spirit no spirit is like putting you inside water and dropping you there that's exactly what you do when that's why they cry and they beg they make sure they don't leave they negotiate all kinds of things jesus have you come to cast us shall we have a time now jesus said go say let's look at they drowned the swine they were so desperate for bodies they entered pigs for a few minutes just so that they can find a place to rest the pigs were entering water they said yes let's just be rested before you enter the water you see why satan hates deliverance you may not know what it is that is the reason why when you cast out devils you are in trouble because satan will mobilize any kind of attack on your life at on anything he knows what is happening is God helping us are we understanding something so this spirit but there are other kinds of spirit I hope you know that the fallen angels that fell with Lucifer are not the only angels that have fallen <laughs> there are many group of offenses there are others who fell so bad they are in chains now they are not even allowed to be featured in that's the level of wickedness those guys are more wicked than satan himself what they did to god we'll find out when we get to heaven that god and they they were cast down not to the earth satan was cast down and left in the earth 
but these spirits were taken straight to the bottomless pit and were bound there with chains because for the sake of the elect they were not left on earth what would they have done that means even satan would have been afraid of them I'm demystifying this thing to you whether it comes as occultism whether it comes as Ogoni there is a central system of operation is when it comes to execution that all those variations come the foundation of all of this is this spirit finding a resting place and when this <sighs> these angels watch their children called demons move around with no bodies in intense torture and so they say let's work together we will coordinate you while you enter the people will tell you what to do and so paul said wow so there are principalities there are powers there are rulers then there are others who don't operate in the earth realm there are spiritual wickedness in the heavenly places they all coordinate themselves one one demon spoke on behalf of 10,000 of them it was when Jesus asked him who are you he now said we are many oh forget that you are hearing only my voice there is a an intelligent organogram brothers and sisters if one human body can host 10,000 demons then it's important for you to listen one demon one body can be so powerful if one body can host God why can't it host demons that a man's body can be the temple of the living God let me just compose myself and get somewhere because if you don't understand this what are you delivering you see where we miss it we just come and tell somebody there's a spirit oh yeah we bend his head and just turn him around Oh yeah, you must come out. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'll hug you after I'm done with my example. And you turn his head round, and the guy just says, "Man, let me just quietly fall for this guy to leave me in peace." And he just falls down, and you you tell him to say thank you, Jesus. He repeats after you. You get up and you are happy, and the demon spirit say, "Wow, what ignorance! Advantage, advantage." Demon spirits can dwell in your spirit demon spirits can dwell in your mind demon spirits can dwell in your body when you tell somebody you cast a demon it just comes out you don't know where it came out from it will re you the same way it comes out from your spirit your soul and your body physically it will look the same it takes discernment to know what happened and the authority of scripture that guides you if that person you are delivering is a believer then you know certainly it must not be from his spirit because he that is joined to christ is one spirit are we together but that does not mean this is where many of us have been surprised because for many years you believe that no these demons cannot find expression you came for koinonia to your surprise praise and worship was going on and all of a sudden you are feeling as if somebody is drawing your clothes you are saying what is happening the next thing you are sweeping the ground you are waking up after 10 minutes what is wrong and you are a pastor and you are, you are, you are a, 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 a prayer leader and your members were watching and say oh god prayer leader what i hope that this impact we received impartation a night before this deliverance so what really entered us no you don't stigmatize people a spiritual childishness to think just because a demon was casted out that no 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 you don't do that the fact that you are being delivered is a sign that you are in mount zion it's not something that should make you ashamed the, the, that means you have gotten to a place where the light and the power of god is forcing those spirits to be uncomfortable it's a thing of joy You have to understand these demon spirits because they are everywhere there are many ways they can enter that's why they are desperate you can know that these spirits are let me tell you this those spirits have on you their characteristics you know that they are in or around your life because whatever they produce in your life is abnormal are we together 
a demon spirit can find expression and you can start having abnormal passion for food you can eat the food of 10 people it's called gluttony it's not a medical condition the spirit is eating through you even you you know that by myself i cannot eat this kind of food listen listen this spirit now enters you and begins to manifest an unusual passion then you marry one wife the spirit is not satisfied with one woman you now say oh let me just be careful this is my one and only wife the spirit says no way and all of a sudden you add 12 more and the spirit he says more you add 12 more and the spirit says you are delaying me let's let's switch to to the point that the spirit can be patient if he doesn't find women it will make a man like a man it's not normal these are the spirits behind it listen very carefully that's what happened in the days of noah these spirits you see are not weak they are not foolish they are not stupid the moment they find a body they start manifesting their characteristic the same way when the holy spirit finds a body all of a sudden an anointing you shouldn't have i shouldn't know your name where did it come it's obvious that is not me something has taken charge of my faculties and is revealing to me something that i should not know ordinary me if i stand close to you maybe if we fight you will even beat me but all of a sudden i will lift my hand and this guy is on the floor now is that me no the same way i'm supposed to give you peace ordinarily but because of the demon spirit in me when i come near you your life must scatter it's not me hear me married people this is a mistake people are coming with forces and influences they don't even know and you find uh, this is the mistake that prophets make again listen carefully especially if you're in the prophetic here because they now look and say oh your wife is a witch she's not a witch for some reason she's she's hosting a habitation of certain spirit beings that are creating an effect even her she will tell you i don't know why everybody i come near if it's their business it dies if it's everything it dies are you seeing why some of you the moment somebody comes to say i love you i want to go and see your parents the spirit in him will say am i not already there so what do you want to do now tragedies listen very carefully those spirits feed on things and they put in you desires that will continue to feed them while they remain that's why you can sit down and they will wake you in the night to carry your laptop and type something you should not watch and you are watching you hate what you are watching but the spirit is feeding on it it is the atmosphere that will keep it there your majesty your majesty that come to you in the dream world they carry the face of a man they carry the face of a woman they carry the face of an object a loved one it doesn't matter they are doing something to you all of a sudden you want to give someone a job and you say by tomorrow please come and collect the job you go to bed notice all of a sudden they have come the dream will carry different you may see yourself in primary school second it doesn't matter what form it comes they are still the ones listen to me all of a sudden they may come and molest you they may come and do whatever they want to do and you stand up in the morning to you you don't know what happened you dress very smart sir i've come to collect my employment letter and the man will say if i see you here you had the testimony of our mommy here how can you tell somebody else this is what has made many of your helpers to leave you they will promise you send me your account and all of a sudden you go to bed and those spirits are here we don't know the bible said lest satan should take an advantage of you for we are not ignorant ignorant 
this is the number one cause number one cause number one cause of barrenness number one cause of impotency the jealousy of those spirits the very jealousy of those spirits with all honor to our doctors i love doctors but i'm telling you this is it can i surprise you i want to tell you something that many of you may not believe i hope and pray that you may believe it i that's why you see i struggle with tonight's teaching it is possible for a woman to carry a seed that is for both her husband and these spirits i wish i'm not the one teaching this sometimes this 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 work is very hard sometimes it's true go back to our villages and hear what our great grandparents with divination used to say sometimes they will see a child and stand and say no let me look at this child and look at this child and look at this child and say no something is wrong and this child is born with unusual trouble and unusual abilities usually doesn't last for too long and just dies and goes but within that 12 to 15 years the trouble that that child causes for the family what can this one is not a deliverance issue this is another seed that is not human can i tell you this don't feel bad we are praying don't feel bad this is how fibroid is formed what you call fibroid is the aberration of the intercourse between these spirits are we together now an attempt for these spirits that's why it grows in the same place where a baby should grow as a baby is growing is growing too and notice that 90 percent of the time it will kill the baby yet you say it's not alive from the womb already ask jacob and esau that from the womb the children were already there they were already fighting ask jesus and john you call them they are just fetuses whereas there was communication going on when mary met with um elizabeth the babies too met with themselves how are you how are you well now we're coming oh i will come before you make sure you do it nice they were interacting please sit down when you know these things you will appreciate the power of god and the victory of christ i know this may look like a messy teaching tonight but just allow me tidy this up and then you will walk back and now find out that nothing just happens nothing watch this these demon spirits till today until jesus comes they are searching for bodies to find expression they are in our fathers that's why our fathers behave unusually they are in our mothers that's why they behave unusually wife that's the mystery behind the stubbornness and your wise decisions of your husband he may be well-meaning notice that most of those people a time can come they are calm and understanding and peaceful and cooperative and then suddenly something comes when you are bringing someone out of a prison cell there's a sign here that you will never steal anybody's thing you will sign and say i won't do anything say oh yeah be born again i'm I, I, I will be a serious person i will even be serious for the first two days he will go to the farm doing well until that spirit now knows there is a stronghold are we together i will teach you this on deliverance there is already a doorway that allows it so the spirit goes on vacation as that brother is in the farm he will make another person annoy him because all these attributes of the flesh are doors with a simple anger it returns it has entered the guy doesn't know all of a sudden the guy gets up and says you hit me and beats him and kills him he's back to the prison he's wondering what am i doing on my way back to the prison the spirit has come back to his house because when a spirit leaves a man it doesn't wave at you it allows for some time the frustration of a lack of habitation will make it come back and say that womb i left let me go back and find out what is there oh there is a child there now that home i went there is joy now i need a space for myself and the moment they find expression they will have to start executing their own attributes 
have you not been surprised look at those who steal if they are under the influence of that demon hide anything anywhere the person will stand is like word of knowledge he will just look around and say Cat, lift that carpet you will carry the money there he doesn't know it's true i'm telling you this you know i'm not lying you hide the money anywhere one day you hide it inside the ceiling he will just stand and stand and look up the spirit is saying look up that's where it is I know I know a true story a true story of a couple I counseled some years ago they were about to get married all of a sudden from nowhere very wonderful lady who loves the Lord the lady brought a report crying that they said she was positive with HIV ah, she even me I was surprised because a lady that I know very well behaved lady I said what happened where did that one come from and all of a sudden when I was looking in the realm of the spirit God just opened my eyes and as soon as I touched that spirit something strange happened now I'm, I'm not saying you should go out and create trouble but something strange happened the spirit started manifesting and speaking around and he said at the point of the test it entered the doctor doctors you are my friends I'm just being thank God you are born again we just finished an outreach there are many things that if we do not know there are many people carrying reports that are not true there are many people carrying things that are not true it is this same spirit that appear what is HIV HIV is called AIDS Abi acquired is acquired meaning it's not within you it came from somewhere acquired immunodeficiency syndrome I'm, I, I hope I'm right where do you think it came from where do you think cancer came from when you understand this you will know why all of a sudden Jacob did something do you know I will be showing you Jacob slept and had a dream and Jacob saw where the males that pregnanted the female goats came from he was in a dream he looked above and saw that all the males in the realm of the spirit were spotted Hi. <laughs> it was not Laban's males no they came from somewhere that's why it didn't matter what Laban said the results were manipulated from the realm of the spirit when you are assisted from the realm of the spirit it doesn't matter what the disadvantages are there is a system to change everything this is not my discussion this night but I don't don't tempt me to have to go and show you please that this spirit interactions must be there for Satan and demons to find expression no man just enters trouble like that and no man just comes out like that there must be that spirit interaction let me show you something you're tempting me for us to Genesis 30 let's look at it Genesis 30 25 we'll look at 25 to 43 Jesus thank you pray in the spirit please while we are opening this hallelujah look at this look at this let me talk about Jacob and Laban now I'm establishing a point here and it came to pass when Rachel was born Joseph that Jacob said to Laban send me away that I may go to my place and my country we're reading it's a long reading let's see how fast we can go just keep just keep projecting and let's go he said give me my wives and all of that and all of that go to 28 Jacob is discussing with Laban now and he said appoint me thy wages and I will give thee 29 we are reading down to 40 there about and he said thou knowest that I have served thee and how thy cattle was with me 30 for it was little which thou hast before I came and it is now increased to a multitude and the Lord had blessed thee who blessed thee talk to me who blessed thee the Lord has we'll see how that Lord did the blessing the Lord had blessed thee since my coming and now well shall I provide for my own house 31 and he said what shall I give thee Jacob he said don't give me anything if thou will do with this one thing I will again keep thy flock what is the one thing 32 I will pass through the flock today 
removing from thence all the speckled and spotted cattle and all the brown cattle among the sheep and the spotted and speckled among the goats and of such they shall be my hire so he's saying i will go round your ranch all the cows and the sheep that are spotted i will pick them at this point they were not many i hope you know that and then he says so shall my righteousness answer for me in time to come when it shall come for my hire you know this and that and that everyone that is not speckled or spotted he was saying that if you find it with me then take me as a thief are you getting the idea now the bible says so laban said behold i would that it might you know might be done according to your word 35 and he removed that day all the goats that were ring straight and spotted and so on and so forth and so forth go to verse 40 go to verse 40 jacob went on a journey there's uh, there's no time to prove it but you will see that jacob simply went on a journey for three days jacob returned back after three days and suddenly saw spotted calves he said no something is going on here the goats and cows and sheep were not pregnant the normal time that goats there because the males that got them pregnant were not part of the fold they came from somewhere the same way the bible never says jesus was pregnant for nine months no it's not on record that jesus was pregnant for nine months jacob did separate the lamb and set the faces of the flocks towards the ring stake and all you know all of this and he put his own flocks and put them you know this and that 41 and it came to pass whensoever the stronger cattle did conceive that jacob laid the rods before his eyes the eyes of the cattle in the gutters that they might conceive among the rods when we read to 43 we stop there but when the cattle were feeble he puts them not in so the feebler were labans and the stronger jacobs last verse 43 then we'll go to verse 41 and the man increased exceedingly and had much cattle and made servants and men servants and camels and asses now go to chapter 31 let me search it here 31 from verse 10 to 13 genesis 31 read with me one to read and it came to pass at the time that the cattle had come i just jumped from verse one to nine verse one to nine was the frustration of of laban's sons they started saying so now jacob has taken everything what inheritance do we have and the bible is showing us how god assisted jacob to produce that result are you ready and it came to pass that at the time that the cattle conceived that i lifted up my eyes and saw where in a dream so jacob was dreaming and the dream now revealed what was happening that was not there physically what did he see in a dream i behold the rams which leaped upon the cattle were ring staked speckled and i beheld i saw in my dream that there were some cattle that were making these ones to be pregnant that were not part of the are, are you with me now he's not awake oh he's seen in a dream 11 hmm. and the angel of the lord so the angel was there we know that there are angels and other cattle came from another realm Shabakatos kabalakata he spoke to me in a dream and he said jacob and i said here i am verse 12 mm. and he said lift now thy eyes and see all the rams an angel is showing him another ram somewhere that is not part of laban's flock all they needed was laban's females the males came from another realm the same way all the fallen angels needed was the females of men the males were the angels with their seed All the rams which leap upon the cattle are ring staked, speckled, and grizzled. For I have seen, I had to introduce some other animals to come and give you speed of result because I have seen the wickedness of Laban. So I came to assist you with extraordinary result that is not of this realm. 13. I am the God of Bethel. This is why I'm doing it where you anointed with a pillar and where you vowed a vow unto me he said arise get thee out of this land 
and out of thy kindred jacob woke up and all of a sudden the males were not seen physically but when the females gave birth they were all speckled and laban said how did this thing happen but god said jacob let me show you so when you see a woman frying akara and building a house with that akara there is an assistance it, it cannot just be about ten thousand no the realm of the spirit came to assist men this is a testimony of this ministry this is a testimony of my life we are not alone he sent his angel there is the angel of his presence and if you don't believe what i just taught you the devil will destroy you and you will never now when you see unusual results you don't question it because i have shown you that heaven can assist men he said remember the bethel i am the god of bethel so was that angel an angel no i am the god i came to supervise your speed i have seen how laban mocked you and is it not me that said i will restore so let me do it now i will bring my own male cattle from everywhere are you seeing why the bible said the cattle on a thousand key where is it it's not a location on earth the cattle god has it the next time somebody gets a miracle alert and you are asking where did the money come from does that sound wise no lest satan should take advantage of us for we are not ignorant i have taught you now that the realm of the spirit can assist men the same way when you see so that you stop this counseling that doesn't make sense you see an unusual thief an unusual troublemaker a man who marries 11 wives and is not tired that man does not need counsel what's the name of that group that used to discipline men that social group social welfare even if you like report him to efcc there is a spirit a normal man should be satisfied with his wife alone the moment a spirit comes no unusual characteristics unusual attributes unusual wickedness when a man carries a knife and takes one of our little ones here and is slaughtering a baby like this my brother my sister that's not a normal human being a spirit is using his hands to hold a knife remember that when these spirits show up they are so wicked jesus said one of the signs he says before the coming of god it shall be like the days of noah that means there will be a repeat of this again these spirits in an unusual way will multiply wickedness but the hope is that the power of god too and the assistance from heaven will also be multiplied upon the saints that means that the revivals that are coming you will see dimensions of the spirit at work in a man that you have never seen in church history spirit so accidents don't just happen no you are just driving and then the car just veers off my brother the car did not just veer off a spirit attempting in frustration to either kill you don't feel bad don't feel bad whether that happened to your loved ones so that's why god is teaching us a pastor can have a ministry and when the ministry wants to rise because he's ignorant of this that spirit can enter him and all of a sudden you will find out that is five months of intense hatred from members they will hate you for no cause and the ministry dies less satan should take an advantage of me demons can enter people demons can enter homes they can enter churches when they enter they execute the will of satan you can be born again they will not touch your spirit but i guarantee you they will come to your mind and build a fortification around your mind and still feel safe as though they were in your spirit so that your being born again makes no difference as far as you are concerned this is the mystery behind these things so you see them in your sleep when you wake when you sleep and you wake up and read like i shared with you ah we have been translated from the kingdom of darkness and you don't know who to tell you are sad 
good things want to happen these wicked spirits come in let me tell you progress and breakthrough is not very difficult it's the spirits that make it so hard you are near your breakthrough like this do you know these spirits can relocate your destiny helper just so that you will suffer while men slept the enemy came with his seed and planted it don't feel embarrassed that when you look at your life you see the outworkings of these seeds because i don't know if we have that time now if we don't have it we'll do part four at after the miracle service no problem i don't just want to rush this you have to appreciate this for me to teach you the dimensions of deliverance because casting out a spirit is only one of the dimensions of deliverance if you stop there you didn't do well because the spirit will return are we together if i push this door open and i leave that door open am i still safe please talk to me that spirit for sure will come back their determination to return to you was not left as a secret in the bible the bible is very clear about the fact that if a demon leaves you it will try to come back that's why you find out that people can be free for 10 years from poverty and then 17 years the spirit now comes he says it's been a while let me come back a man can be married loves his wife after she gives him three or four children and then all of a sudden what he was doing when he was 20 21 comes back when he's 41 that's why you find out that a man loves god and is walking passionately and then before you know it when he's age 55 he will go back into a gay lifestyle or do something and you are wondering at 55 the american nation ignored this satan proposed a doctrine to the west that exited the issue he, he just created a safe zone for himself in our teachings notice that satan didn't remove everything he just found the hardest part of it and created a theology that keeps him safe and look at the result today listen hold on guys let me tell you this listen to me I have been a victim of these things that I'm telling you. If you don't conquer this thing, you will never last. Are you getting what I'm saying now? That's the reason why it looks like no matter, no matter how you do well, oh, um, there's no cause in my life. I am free. I don't have any, no devil. Don't talk about any cause to me. The spirit will just keep quiet and be watching you. And all of a sudden, the same way it took your father and rubbished his life, took your mother and rubbished her life, you will suddenly find out that you got married. You find out that you got married. Watch this. And all of a sudden, you will become a replica of your father. A replica. Remember, it started with your father slapping your mother. He said sorry once. Then he did it again. The third time he said, I won't say sorry again. I will give you a dirty slap. I paid your dowry. Now, because you thought you were a pastor, it will leave you just like that. And then you keep managing it for a while. And then after nine years, the demons will make sure it bites you where it is hard. And you turn and give her a slap and find yourself. And two of you will sit down and counsel yourself. Say it will never happen. And before you know it, you would have done it many times. I'm not telling you this to show you how powerful Satan is. I'm only giving you a sense of appreciation because deliverance is possible and complete deliverance is possible. If complete deliverance does not happen to you, you will never possess your possession. Believe me. Believe me. This is the Bible. Obadiah 1.17. Please give it to us. The sons of Jacob will possess. It is their possession. But there is a mystery. Are you seeing why many of our parents just said don't worry i will get the job for 25 years they didn't get any other job 25 years no other job no lifting what of the families where women are the ones who feed the men if you are a man and you ever try to rise up 
those horns will squash you down when mommy called me sorry to just make reference to her i saw her text the fact that i don't reply your text doesn't mean i don't look at it when i saw her text i knew immediately what was wrong i knew that they were controlling powers that have followed the life of this dear young man i prayed for him here before he left and i knew that if god does not help this man you will be surprised that one day are you seeing why people go abroad for 10 years and return back like thieves you don't hear from them from a long time you think they built houses they are coming to give you money they return back in shame they start moving from country to country through deserts to arrive in lagos when the young man sent me a text i looked at it somebody gave you a job and people don't just change their mind when things just change suddenly just know that a spirit just came in the same way if it can change for the positive i hate you but i just change you know that ah this is the holy spirit the holy ghost has stepped in the man and i called him how are you my friend he said fine i said let's pray i said when i pray for you you are going to get the job father in the name of jesus it's not what i'm saying jesus said go it is what you are standing on it is not just the articulateness of your words it is the office and the revelation that backs you so you can say one word go and the demons don't hear go the demons see all the mysteries that support what you are saying this is what produces result many people think it is in the articulateness of the english i now standing by my left adjure you that you move no, that is grammar my brother demons don't hear grammar the revelation when jesus said go go is not enough to take demons away it was the rock that he was standing on two houses were built it is the rock you are standing on he said this is how i will build my church you will not just speak it is what you are speaking on that supports your results when i prayed for that gentleman i just dropped the phone i knew what would happen because all i did you would think it is me that produced the result i know what to tell the holy spirit i know the factor that must be introduced in that equation i knew that except the angel of the lord comes to rescue and because they are always ascending and descending they confirm the words of his messengers all i did was to create space for the holy spirit let there be space for you in this equation and all of a sudden he steps in and i don't know how many hours i don't think it was up to three hours you see mommy dancing here she's not just dancing for nothing that's why you hear somebody say i just came for koinonia and things the things didn't just change god will examine your equations and see how you threw him out and just say okay let me be introduced here and all of a sudden things change things change i will stop here so that we'll pray after miracle service i will teach you now on casting out devils and i'll teach you deliverance through transformation and the discipline of conformity all of this will come in let's do part four let's not rush this thing i want us to take some time hold on before you stand up to take some time to pray it is not a secret that these demons are around they use all kinds of ways to enter your life and the flesh is their greatest access you are alone in the room and you are hearing sounds bam ceiling window looks like it's opening they are looking for an access point how can i make this person fear and doubt the faithfulness of god so that i can find expression in his life you are just hearing like wind is blowing all of a sudden you imagine somebody has to be near me and then anger have you noticed that every time good things are coming a good relationship a brother just comes just at the point he's about to propose that week something dangerous happens you are at your angriest point and the brother says no i can't marry you then you return back these are the spirits playing on the minds of the saints messing up our breakthroughs the day you are supposed to go for a job interview you are running then your car breaks down your car didn't have any business breaking down but it broke down 
as soon as you arrive there they say sorry the gate is closed so you stand there and say life not life spirits spirits my brother spirits they are about to pay your father his gratuity the demons will hook the money until the day they diagnose him of having cancer that will spend 150,000 for chemotherapy and the rest then the money suddenly comes and because you have to use it to spend it and spend it and spend it and spend it how about students that enter the exam hall they thought they went alone you conduct tutorials for others and enter the exam hall as soon as you sit down you look at the paper but i solved this question yesterday night what happened these demons hijack your understanding when you are out of the exams you go back and see the paper in your house that you solved it with sometimes you're on your way to the exam to write your final year exam and you forget one question paper in your pocket you didn't forget you were assisted to leave it there all of a sudden an invigilator comes and says, what is that stand up and said no that's it you are going listen to what i'm telling you because god delivered me myself it will be impossible to be doing ministry at this level just talking and saying this i am a product of the deliverance that happens upon mount zion there are people there is no good thing you give them that blesses them give them money it will be the reason for their trouble help them give them favor they will cause trouble our loved ones may be like that for many years the church has been deceived and misled into thinking everything is just normal into thinking oh everything is fine i am okay just because we have some little money we allow the devil fool us into believing that we are all right the devil can allow you to continue being a preacher keep winning uh, the the loss keep healing the sick while he hijacks your mind and continues to do what he's doing at age 12 you see your son already reproducing you and you are saying my god what is this brothers and sisters i tell you the truth by the authority of the word of god i know that i'll be criticized by many people for these teachings but let me tell you this I was called into the office of an apostle listen i share with you a mystery that will help you to possess your inheritance i will not lie to you and sit you down and allow the devil tear your life into pieces let this deliverance be perfected in you you will you will be shocked at the things that will happen you're already hearing testimonies job will become child's play everything will become child's play barrenness stories there are many of us who would have been in ministry by now the call of god is upon you you know the call of god is upon you but these spirits won't let you rest they are all around you they will make sure that every helper god brings to your life you do something to them that drives them against you that's why some of us don't have friends it's not like you are bad the moment a friend comes to your life wonderful person oh I, I i love you i want to help you the spirits will make something happen you will betray the person you will lie against the person you will do something stupid that will kill your opportunity and all of a sudden they will leave you but tonight brothers and sisters the devil is a liar i don't know if there's someone here who is tired who is saying enough is enough i can't let this happen if you are free your loved ones are not free so in any case there is something for you to do
yet taught you next the next time we meet when we now start talking of deliverance we are going to look at the deliverance ministry of jesus just jesus leave paul leave this just jesus and we are going to see what jesus did with this spirit and you will see that jesus said this kind go it not there is a kind you don't just generically tell demons go no there are different spirits the way you drive a fallen angel from influencing a life is not the same way you cast out a demon now the fallen angels may be illegal occupants but the demons are legal occupants they came by birth the women gave their wombs freely so they are not just run no they have a right This kind goeth not. This kind goeth not. This kind goeth not. Listen, I shared with you during the prayer and fasting. Remember that there is a physical, atmospheric temperature that drives demons by itself. Not um, there is a there is a physical. There are places on earth that demons cannot stay. There's no preacher there. The environment itself drives them. It's in your, it's in your, it's in your Bible. That when a demon leaves a man, it goes through where dry regions, dry regions, hoping it will find something dry that it and, and not finding any. It's uncomfortable and it comes back. Who casted it from that place? Nobody preached with it. It left that place and preferred to come and fight you than to remain in the wilderness. Listen, witchcraft was a proposition that these spirits brought to men. Men are not so smart to know that you, you should kill somebody. There are wicked people from where we come from that will exchange the life even of their children for themselves. Have you seen old people who don't die? Every time they are sick, you hear that someone is dead and then they, they are alive. All of a sudden, they become fine. No, sir. Read in the Bible, a king who slew his son to keep his own life. Ah, ah, nobody will bring a knife to my neck to keep it. Ah, we are going to pray. It's just going to be praying in tongues now. I want you to find a corner, my brother, my sister. Take your life serious. In the next five minutes, instrumentalists just charge the atmosphere for us. Blast in tongues and refuse upon Mount Zion. And it shall come to pass in that day. And it shall come to pass in that day. In that day. In that day. That the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder. And the yoke from off your neck. And it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Please pray, pray. If you are tired, hold the hands of somebody that can agree with you. Pray for your destiny. Pray. Enough is enough, oh God. The victory of Christ, the work of Jesus on the cross, cannot be in vain. The substitutionary sacrifice of the Son of the Living God cannot be in vain. Jesus. 
Sotro Paruta, Ebra Cato Shabara Catania de Maravas, Sato Sole que te vene que te Pray, Koinonia. Pray for your family. Pray for your wife. Pray for your husband. Pray for your children. Arise, oh God. This is Bethel. This is Bethel. This is Bethel. Arise, oh God of Bethel. Pray. Pray. Sabato, Sabata. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. It's time to break grounds in the spirit. It's time for the anointing of your destiny to come. It's time for the ministry to open. It's time for your finances to come. It's time for prophecy to find expression. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be Hallelujah. We are going to pray. This prayer is a serious prayer. As we pray, sisters, I want you to lay your hands on your womb. As we are praying, brothers, just pray in tongues. I'd like you to declare that no seed of any entity that is not of God will find I will not give birth to any stranger. No. Pray. No matter the ordinances of the fathers, no matter the enchantments of the ancient, I come by a new order and I declare my womb will produce that seed of the woman that will bruise the head of the serpent. I cause five broil. I cause five broil. Cause every devil. Shabatata. Shakatakatakata. Lekatakate. Man brakos koto perekete. E shekedegedegedegedegede. Rapakato perekete liata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Brothers, I'd like you to pray. The spirit that keeps men in one place. You don't move forward. You don't move backward. You stay. No productivity. Every gentleman here, open your mouth and blast in tongues. Father in the heavens, this is better. Shabbat Katoskata. The yokes, the altars, and everything that time my life, that time my destiny, by the mystery of deliverance, I challenge. I challenge. It is upon Mount Zion. The spirits that cause failure. Hallelujah. Listen. Demons came into being when the spirit assisted men. 
So your victory comes into being when the spirit assists you. It says, I am the God of Bethel. I have seen the oppression that Laban has done. The victory will not just happen. Forget about the physical things. In the realm of the spirit, you are going to cry for divine assistance. I provoke the ministry of angels over every affair of my life. Lift your voice and pray. Cry. Are they not ministering spirits? Are they not ministering spirits? My brothers and sisters, are they not ministering spirits? Send to minister for them that be the heirs of salvation. I call for assistance from heaven. Oh God of Jeshurun, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the deliverer. Shakatos Kataba, angels on assignment, angels on assignment, angels on assignment, angels on assignment, judging the wicked. Delivering the prophecy of God concerning my life. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Every attribute of the flesh that gives access to any spirit in my life by the mystery of the blood, I declare that that door is closed forever. Lift your voice and pray. Come on. Lift your voice and pray. still pray I tell you I feel fire in this place listen everything God has shown you either as a revelation from his word or as a revelation from the realm of the spirit you are going to declare Jacob did not just see the spotted calves and left them in the realm of the spirit they had to come and interact the word must become flesh I like you to lift your voice and cry Jacob's Katabata. Every anointing, every mantle, every mandate, every dimension, the prophetic, the apostolic, prosperity, increase, speed, deliverance that God has shown me. Lord, you showed me victory. I declare, I declare, I declare, it must find expression. Hallelujah. 
this prayer we are going to pray, listen carefully. Whether you are an usher or not, please. If anyone is under the anointing or manifesting around you, just help them. Are we together? It's a very serious prayer we are going to pray now. You are going to pray that if by any means there is any spirit entity in my life or around me, it's time for you to come out. It's time for you to go. Listen. As you pray this prayer, many strange things will start happening to you. Don't worry about it. You just focus on this prayer and pray with all your heart and watch what happens. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the Lord I cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray pray fire is falling pray fire is falling Shabakatata. I cast every spirit. I cast every devil. I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. My mind, my body, around my life, around Koinonia, in the name of Jesus, around my family. Shamakatos Kadabash. You are married also pray for your family pray for your children i cast every devil The Lord is healing fibroid. Now, the Lord is ministering to me. A mighty deliverance is going to happen now. It's starting with ladies. Any spirit entity that comes in the form of a man and attempts to oppress you in the night, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, let the fire from heaven fall right now and command i command that spirit to go help them right now any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors 
inside, outside, I command deliverance now. I command deliverance now. Let the daughters of Jacob possess their possession. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger. It's a spirit. It's living people right now. Uncontrolled anger. It's, a, it's an unusual anger. Rage. It comes, you can tear anything and you can do anything. I'm seeing fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is a victim of this operation, right now in the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uncontrolled anger. I come against it now. Please help her. I'm seeing a vision and the Lord is asking me to pray on that case in this vision I'm seeing someone dream that's what I'm seeing now and in that dream you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished is a strong spirit of delay I stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace help your wife right now in the name of Jesus at the count of three the spirit of delay hear the word of the Lord let God's people go now one two three I command that spirit go now go now Please help them. Go now. This one thing I do. Forgetting the things that are behind. No devil should take you back again. I command that spirit. Go now. I cast that spirit now. If there is anyone you know, whether you are here or anyone you know, that for some reason has not been able to take in, in the name of barrenness, whether you are here or you are standing for them, I want you to agree, I want to pray. Let's see the devil that will stop them from taking in. In the name of Jesus, anyone you know and you are standing for, that the devil, I don't care what the medical report is, that the devil has come to make sure that they will not celebrate children. In the name that is above all names, we release children from heaven. In the name of Jesus, we release children from heaven. We open every barren womb. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a group of people. You see, you have dreams frequently. And in the dreams, you see yourself receiving things. And it's something that in the physical, you are hoping to receive. But the moment you see it in that dream, it will never happen again. It's an irony. It's like the opposite of what you see in dreams is what happens. The Lord is asking me to deliver those people now. Please help her. Help her. Just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Shakatos, Emprantas Kana Sone Hashamaria Kata, Shakras Koteva Katosa Barekata, Eko Shamama Sanada Kata, Reketekete Kete, Eskamara Katos Kaba, in the name that is above all names I decree and declare from the realm of the spirit let there be deliverance for you now let there be deliverance for you now just two more points and we're done Look at me. 
if you have seen this pattern I'm about to describe in your family then I want you to listen carefully it's always that the future is worse than the past you never have a situation where you leave certain things and go higher and higher you look at all your loved ones they once worked they once married they once had children they once had a house you are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past it's always once upon a time this was happening i need to crush that devil from your life please help them once upon a time i was rich once upon a time i was married once upon a time i was on fire for god once upon a time i was a pastor i had a church no the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day when your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday there is a spirit reversing the equation lift your hands i want to pray for you in the name that is above all names i declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow right now at the count of three i declare that spirit must let you go one two three let them go now let them go now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please just be patient with me we'll end now my spirit is heavy circles of repeated sicknesses i want to pray now it's not a normal thing whether it is hepatitis whether it is a blood related disease or whether it is every month malaria every month malaria every month typhoid you treat it it still comes back every month headache every month whatever it is hold on please the lord is showing me something i just saw like a pile of money and then i saw it disappear and the lord said there are people money physically disappears like lives their life i'm not saying you waste it you can keep ten thousand and come back and find seven thousand and nobody was in that house it's not just money items you can wash clothes and hang it you you didn't steal it you will come back you will not find it listen well this is a, a deliverance series just allow me to help that lady I'm seeing a lady in a vision now you were alone you washed your underwear in the night by the next day you didn't find two of them again it's gone from that day something happened in your life in a strange way severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having uncontrollable pain in the name of jesus everything the devil has taken from anyone i decree and declare by the anointing of the spirit let there be restoration now let there be restoration now let there be restoration now The Lord is showing me someone. Every time you see someone die in the dream, a few weeks later it will happen physically. Now you have seen your loved ones. You saw them last week. You saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that I don't know if it's your mother or something that died. If we don't pray for you, it's going to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? I prophesy right now upon your life by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I command that death to pass over your family I command that death to pass over your family
Hallelujah. Just, just let me just talk about two issues. I'm struggling to share what God is showing me now. This has to do with a group of ladies. Listen. There is a lady here. Every time you see yourself in a dream, you are a man, not a woman. That's why I'm struggling to share what I'm saying. Physically, you are a lady. But every time you see yourself in a dream, it's like you are carrying the form of a man this thing has affected you even in the area of relationship if a guy looks at you and says i love you it's like it's like um it's it's like you feel as if you are gay it's it's like something has numbed the capacity to receive love as a lady because of that encounter it's a demonic thing that i have to pray for you for a very demonic thing I'm seeing like smoke this is strange and then it is it's just like moving around in the air wherever those groups of people are I don't believe it's just one person it's an operation of darkness in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands right now and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost be free from that demonic siege now be free from that demonic siege now Hold on. There is a lady, a physical person appeared to you, not a dream. I'm not talking of your dreaming. Physically, physical, like you are seeing me like this, appeared to you and was having a conversation with you. Appeared to you and was having a conversation with you and from that conversation your life was never the same again it looked like it was a woman that was appearing and talking to you like revealing to you some secrets that had to do with the past and from that day you started hearing voices even in the afternoon you can sit down and hear like people are discussing i need to pray for you if i don't pray for you very soon they will admit you in the hospital because they'll say you are talking and behaving like somebody who has a psychosomatic condition wherever that person is in the name of jesus i may not call you out because of time but i declare right now by the anointing of the holy spirit that devil that spirit in the name of jesus be free from it now i was going to pray for repeated cycles of sickness let that be the last let's pray if you know in this place that you find out that certain sicknesses never leave you they keep repeating cycles just place your hand on your chest I'm about to pray it doesn't matter what part of your body and what sickness you just place your hand on your chest I'm going to pray someone will shout under the anointing when that happens the anointing for this healing is not a sickness it's a pattern that God is breaking now the moment that shout happens, I will rebuke that and then we are done for the night. We will continue the miracle service. I will talk about it shortly. Thank you, Jesus. Just lay your hands there. The power of God is looking for one person. There's somebody that will shout. That's the shout. Right now, in the name of Jesus, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, every pattern of reoccurring infirmity reoccurring sickness whether it's a blood related disease every pattern i say it again of reoccurring sickness reoccurring disease right now by the power of the holy ghost i command the spirit responsible lose your hold now lose your hold now Lose your hold now. Lose your hold now. Lose your hold now. Hallelujah. 
in this series i gave you an instruction our time is gone i want to give you another one now please listen very carefully i told us we have been doing it i know a number of you may not have been so faithful just try to be consistent do it out of revelation at least 15 minutes in the night wake up and pray pray in the spirit declare the victory of christ just forget about whatever dream or whatever experience you're having just do what i'm asking you to do are we together now the next meeting we're going to be having here is a miracle service listen i'm taking our time our miracle service will not be on friday listen carefully our miracle service will be on monday are you getting what i'm saying now not this friday not this saturday not this sunday on monday please listen on friday you are going to fast on saturday everybody you are going to fast are we together at least if you cannot do to six minimum at least to 12 and that i believe it should even be our little children any adult here should at least be able to reach 12 or 2 you will not die so friday you are fasting saturday you are fasting are we together sunday you are fasting i want you to come on monday the miracle service we are going to start by praying for the sick so that we'll finish that it's going to be a night of intense deliverance it please intense anybody you truly love even if it's your loved ones no matter where they are if they can find their way please come medical reports bring it all these threat letters whatever just bring it and let's cry to the god of heaven to arise and walk wonders here the plague of death you can collect as many people's prayer requests even if they cannot come just collect it we are going to take at least 30 minutes to just agree and pray in tongues and charge the atmosphere when we come are we together is a prayer is a prophetic is a strong deliverance meeting i just the lord put that in my heart so please listen i'm saying in this media please take note including those outside friday you are fasting just break on your own you don't have to come here or if you have your little friends you can just meet and pray and sleep be very spiritual it's not when you should go to somebody's house and you are disturbing them it's, it's a week of spiritual emphasis we are trusting god to push through that that jericho that dagon must fall once and for all friday you are fasting please don't let food cheat you 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 don't die if you don't eat for a few hours saturday you are fasting sunday you are agreeing you are fasting monday you can eat and do whatever i like you to come here prayerfully and come here spiritual from the opening prayer to the praise and worship participate with all your heart are we together by the grace of god will make it the miracle service but i i will i will see the possibility if because of time we cannot make it both a communion and anointing service then i'll be patient the week that follows as we round up the series then we'll do it but we must combine it it must be a communion service and then an anointing service when i'll be teaching you now the forces of deliverance and the rest but this miracle service on monday i believe with all my heart for god to have given this message he's going to do something strange so it's not friday it's not saturday it's not sunday it's on monday but you fast on friday fast on saturday if you have loved ones those are connecting it doesn't matter what nation of the world if they care to follow they can follow in fasting and prayer are we together now let me give you the instructions on how to pray am i boring you am i wasting your time on friday because we have to pray with intelligence some of these anyhow prayers we do is what wastes our fasting we just fast and fast and pray and talk to ourselves and we don't get anything from it are we together if you can write please write and and please write and do it on friday your entire prayer for that friday is the mercy of god write it that's all that's all you are praying throughout friday by the grace of god just follow me 
I'm giving you an instruction in righteousness. This is not religion. The only prayer, look for scriptures that talk about the mercies of God. You are praying the mercy of God on your life, on your family. Please just try to follow this instruction. Just, just do as I'm teaching you. By God's grace, I will not mislead you. From all through your prayer, you are invoking the mercy of God. His mercies are new every morning. Lord, your mercy upon my life. Lord, your mercy upon my past. Lord, your mercy upon my family. I cry and I receive your mercy upon my ministry. Don't go and stop saying, oh God, the other day you said you were going to give me tea and bread. No, just leave all that one. Friday, the mercy of God. Are we together? Saturday is intense warfare. Intense warfare. You are going to take out time to pray and challenge the gates. Write down a list of all the things that constitute a challenge in your life. Whether it is delay, whether it is whatever, write it down. You are going to, you are going to pray warfare. There are many koinonia messages that you can get that relates to that. You can play along if you want and pray. Intense warfare. That means that as much as possible, aside from a few things that you maybe like school of ministry that we have in lectures if you don't have anything doing please discipline yourself this carelessness sometimes is why the devil prevails over us find somewhere beg your friend to give you access to his room or one corner go to one forest somewhere just stay somewhere and pray your life out pray against patterns and everything you have seen lord this is what has happened but I'm standing by the power of the Holy Spirit. So Friday, you are invoking the mercy of God. No, uh, Saturday, you are dealing with patterns and you are dealing with all of this. On Sunday, all you are doing is thanksgiving. That's all you are doing. You are thanking him for everything, for his mercies. You can thank him and praise him in a dance. You can thank him and pray, just play worship, praise him, whatever you have to do. And then on Monday, come with your heart. Write that Egyptian that has followed you and carry them and bring them here with you. And let the God of Bethel arise for us on Monday. So Friday, we are praying the mercy of God. Don't forget. Go and do the assignment yourself. Scriptures, look for scriptures. Go on, on, on Google and all of that. Use different references. Saturday is warfare. Saturday is not praise and worship saturday is not thanksgiving saturday you are engaging you are engaging the victory of christ mention situations one by one and take time to pray are we together and then sunday spend time singing dancing celebrating and thanking god and then on monday we are back please for our online community media make sure you remind us on thursday or friday remind us on what to do let's know you can put a, a a media montage or whatever it is you can add scriptures that can help us i could give you a few scriptures so that you guide us you can follow on facebook and twitter will be um, keeping you updated will be posting and all of that ask your loved ones i know some will say get out all these things i'm not doing don't fight them just leave them but as many they may not be able to make it on this ground but wherever they are around the world ask them to connect and also follow and you watch what god will do i'm leading you through the same way god led me to be free exactly the instruction god gave me and the things i did is what i'm introducing you to by the time i do the last series of the teaching you will know why i give some of these instructions are we together father we give you all the praise tonight you are god and there is none like you we submit to your wisdom we submit to your grace and Lord I know that you have not called the seed of Jacob to seek you in vain you have enlightened our minds tonight and Lord I thank you because even by your spirit there will be a performance in our lives lord even from tonight let your people begin to enjoy strange breakthroughs in the name of jesus christ lord this is a week of deliverance 
I pray that you end age-long captivities once and for all from our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I want to give someone an opportunity here to give his life or her life to Jesus Christ. You are here. You heard me preach. You heard the word of God come expressly. And you are saying, man of God, I need to make my ways right. Please don't be distracted. I know we are rounding up. Let's not distract those who want to give their life to Jesus. You are at overflow three, overflow two, overflow one, the main auditorium and those connected online. You are saying, Apostle, that nature that needs to be replaced, that miracle has not happened to me. Or you are saying, Apostle, I love Jesus, but at one point or the other things have gone haywire in my life and I need to make my ways right. Please, wherever you are, I don't want you to be ashamed. Please clear the way. Please clear the way. All of you standing at the way, please clear the way. Clear the eyes for them. Wherever you are, you want to make this decision, I want you to boldly get up and come right now, very quickly. Very quickly. If there is anyone, there has to be someone who is saying, man of God, I'm handing my life to Jesus. If you are outside, please clear the way for them as they come. Don't be ashamed. Make your way to the front right now. Make your way to the front right now. If there's someone coming, make your way to the front. If you are coming, overflow three. You can just walk to your projector stand. But overflow one, overflow two, and the main auditorium, make your way to the front. There has to be someone the Spirit of God is speaking to. Let's appreciate them. Don't be ashamed. Be bold. Rise up. Walk. Make your way and come to Jesus. Are there people like that? Clear the way for them outside. hallelujah please clear the way for them i still believe someone is coming there has to be someone if you're coming god bless you come quickly join them join them quickly those coming from the overflow outside quickly please hurry up if you're coming rush quickly 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 hallelujah god bless you if you're joining them come quickly thank you for this great decision i want you to lift your right hand high to heaven and say this from the depth of your heart god bless you my brother if you're coming my dear come quickly quickly and join them say lord jesus say after me passionately say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight i have heard your word and I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life. I declare that from today, I am a child of God. I'm born again. The life of Jesus is at work in me. I declare that the grace to walk in victory is mine now in Jesus name. Father, I thank you for these ones. They have come. And they have made this decision for you let this decision last, last last in their life oh look at this little child adorable child come my dear go to that man just go to that man he will lead you to christ that man sitting with a baby he will help you father thank you let this decision be real in their lives they will never be the same forward ever backward never even as you have prayed i crush every walkings of darkness over your life and I declare they are gone from your life now and forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for this decision. Please follow this gentleman. There are people waving their hands. I'd like you to follow all of them. This one under the anointing. Just carry him. Follow them. Everyone, please appreciate them very quickly. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye! Pray! Pray! Pray for your destiny!
the face of development lord grant me the discipline 